What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's Ankit here. This week we're in Lewis Center, Ohio. It's one of beautiful, newly constructed, contemporary, modern home behind us. We got a lot to see, so let's get started right away. Let's start with the exterior first. Here we have beautiful landscaping all around. Uh, three little pillars to walk into your uh, main entrance right here. Uh, stone at the bottom, stone right here as well. Uh, vinyl siding all around. Three big windows, uh, which we'll see in the inside. Let's get inside now. Alrighty guys, welcome to the interior of this beautiful home. Here we have a formal living room, 10 foot high ceilings right above a ceiling fan, recessed in lighting of course, uh, three big windows to bring in the natural light and it overlooks our front porch which we covered earlier. Uh, two seating area right here, coffee table, just looks great. Uh, here we have a formal dining room, it seats six people and we have a sliding door that takes us out to the patio area, uh, which we'll cover later. Moving on from our formal dining room area, we have our kitchen here. We have KitchenAid appliances all around, quartz countertops right here, built-in microwave right here, uh, fridge of course, dishwasher, right. uh, backsplash all around, just looks phenomenal. Uh, KitchenAid range hood on top with shiplap right above it. And this door actually takes us into the pantry. Uh, this pantry has a lot of storage for your dry goods, food, whatever you may need. If you keep following me this way, on my right we have our office, and on my left we have our little coat hanger area. Alrighty, coming into this little area, we have our seating area uh, to put on your shoes, right as you come in from this two-car garage. Uh, on my left we have our office. Uh, we have half paneled walls all around, uh, two windows, two high windows, light fixture on top. Uh, we're missing the desk right now since it's on back order, but let's continue our tour. Like I mentioned earlier about the two-car garage, uh, very spacious two-car garage. Uh, this house like sits on an alleyway where there's like two streets, like one for the front yard and one for the garage. There's another street that takes into the garage. Uh, here we have our coat hanger, and then I mentioned the shoe, uh, like the seating area to put on your shoes. Uh, we also have our powder room right here, vanity set up uh, with, uh, with a water closet. Let's continue our tour. Uh, back at the entryway, we have our stairs here that takes us up to the second floor. But before we get to that, I want to mention these lights, uh, recessed in lighting into the wall uh, that turns on at night or turns on uh, whenever it's like dark inside. So just looks seamless. Uh, now let's check out the second floor. Coming up the stairs, let's check out our first bedroom. Our first bedroom happens to be a master suite. Uh, this master suite has 10 foot high ceilings, ceiling fan right here, two nightstands, queen size bed, uh, the door right there that takes us into our first closet. But we also have our second walk-in closet right here. Uh, walk-in closet, plenty of space in here. Coming out of the walk-in closet on my right, we have our master suite bathroom. We also have this pocket door that slides into the wall. Just looks perfect. Uh, here we have quartz countertops, uh, black accent faucets, two light fixtures on top, his and her sink, cabinets, uh, shower right here, very spacious shower right here, uh, unique tiles at the bottom, water closet right here. Let's keep going. Alrighty, coming out of the bathroom here, let's check out our second bedroom. This bedroom is decent size, uh, ceiling fan on top, window that overlooks your side yard, uh, sliding door that opens up to your decent size closet as well. Let's keep going. Here we have two doors that opens up to our laundry room currently. Uh, they don't have the washer and dryer since it's on back order, but they have all the setup you need for the laundry room here. Uh, this way we have our third bedroom, uh, decent size bedroom again. Uh, ceiling fan on top, another window that overlooks your side yard, a uh, sliding door that opens up to another closet. Let's keep going this way. On my left, we have our first bed, uh, bathroom on the second floor. Granite countertops right here. Uh, light fixture on top, of course. Little seating area for whatever you may need. Uh, another pocket door that slides into the wall that opens up to your water closet and the shower. Just looks phenomenal and just closed off. Let's keep going this way and continue our tour. Here we have a, a decent sized bedroom but a little bigger 
than the first two uh, we just saw. Ceiling fan on top, of course. A uh, window that looks into your side yard. Another door that opens up to your walk-in closet this time. Uh, it just looks phenomenal. Uh, let's keep going and continue our tour and check out the basement now. Back at the entryway, before we cover the basement, I want to cover some specs. This house has five bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, uh, 3,000, a little under 3,000 square feet of interior space, sits on a tenth of an acre lot, and currently on the market for $649,000. Uh, now let's check out the basement. Coming down the stairs to the basement here, we have our spacious basement, uh, currently not staged because the furniture is on back order, like I mentioned earlier. Recessed in lighting's on top, 10 foot high ceilings, granite countertops all around. This is like a little bar area, shelving on top to display your drinks, whatever you may need. Uh, a lot of cabinets to store, to store a lot of drinks or just anything you may like. Let's keep going this way and check out our bedroom and our bathroom. Uh, right next to me, we have our bathroom. We have granite countertops, uh, black accent faucets, uh, water closet right here, shower, uh, with beautiful towels. Coming out of the bathroom, we have our bedroom on the, in the basement. Uh, we have a very spacious bedroom, uh, window uh, that you can climb out to go to your side yard if you want. You can always do that sliding door that opens up to your closet. And uh, that's it for this basement. Uh, let's check out the patio area. Back at the formal dining room area, let's take these sliding doors out to our covered patio. Here, we have a decent sized covered patio everywhere, concrete patio at the bottom, ceiling fan on top with shiplap ceilings. Uh, pillars, those two pillars as we saw earlier uh, by, the, by the front door, stone of course, wood on top. Uh, and I, like I mentioned earlier, this house sits in like an alleyway, two streets, uh, one for the front door and one for the garage. So let's check out the back like by the garage. Now that we're at the back of the house here, we have our two car garage in the back. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, the street that leads up to the garage. And that's pretty much the end of this tour. Alrighty guys, that's the end of the tour for today in Lewis Center, Ohio. Thank you so much for watching this amazing house tour. And if you like my content, please consider like, comment, and subscribing. And stay on the lookout for more videos from me. And see you guys next week.